autoimmune disease. What are the causes in general overview? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What happens in autoimmune disease? Well, in autoimmune diseases, the immune system views a normal protein within a cell as some foreign entity, and it starts to attack it. And in doing so, it often damages the cell or even destroys many healthy cells. So for some reason, the immune cells can't distinguish, can't distinguish normal cellular components from things that would be foreign to the body, say like a bacteria. So it starts attacking even healthy cells. Now, of course, normally your immune cells wouldn't act this way. They wouldn't start attacking normal cells in your body. Now, sometimes in autoimmune disease, the immune attack is restricted to a specific organ. So sometimes things like Graves' disease, where it's attacking primarily the thyroid gl gland, or in celiac disease, of course, which is in the gut, and Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, primarily limited to the uh, intestinal tract, but other tissues can be affected. Or in certain autoimmune diseases, uh, the immune system is attacking a particular protein that's found widespread throughout the body. So this is what happens in rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, ankylosing spondylitis, and a whole bunch of other connective tissue autoimmune diseases. The question is, why do the immune cells start to behave in this abnormal way? Well, there's some evidence to show that there's a genetic susceptibility, where we carry around these genetic vulnerabilities in our own DNA, and then something triggers it at some point in our life, and we're off to the races, and the immune cells start to do this thereafter. There's also some evidence that in certain cases, a virus gets into one of the, the immune cells and, and changes or pre-shapes the immune cell so that for, the, for all the other cells that come from that immune cell, as it replicates, are going to have this abnormal behavior pattern. So that's still being debated in the scientific literature. And often with autoimmune diseases, you get an inflammatory component because the activated immune cells secrete inflammatory chemicals. So some of the autoimmune diseases that you're familiar with, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, ankylosing spondylitis, celiac disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, Graves' disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, psoriatic arthritis. We think MS may be an autoimmune disease, and certainly many others. The medical treatment for autoimmune disease is primarily to suppress the immune system so it doesn't attack the cells in this way which is good, but there's also a downside. And the downside is that when you suppress the immune system right across the board, if certain cancer cells are starting to form in your body, the immune cells, their surveillance of that situation is compromised significantly, so there's a greater chance cancer develops when you're using a lot of immunosuppressant drugs. Also, if it becomes uh, easier for certain infections to start in your body, so you're more prone to opportunistic infections, including tuberculosis. So, what I, the thing that gets missing from the conversation is that certain diet and lifestyle factors and supplements can actually help to improve these conditions and decrease our reliance on corticosteroid drugs and other immune suppressant drugs and even anti-inflammatory drugs which are often prescribed for these conditions because things like aspirin and ibuprofen and uh, indomethacin and salabrex, all, even though they're good anti-inflammatories. They lead to intestinal bleeding, liver damage, kidney damage, congestive heart failure, even high blood pressure. So one of the major reasons now that people have liver failure and, and kid, serious kidney damage is from over-reliance on these anti-inflammatory drugs. So anything you can do to reduce your reliance on these things is really important. And this is where diet and supplementation comes into the story. It can help you reduce your reliance on these drugs if you know what you're doing. And this is often overlooked by physicians who manage these diseases because they don't really study a lot of nutrition and natural medicine. So what I'd like you to do is to click, click on the link below and read my review article called Nutrition and Supplementation Management in Autoimmune Diseases. It's all explained there for you. All the scientific references are there so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on this subject. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research papers. You'll see footage from my live seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're always getting sound scientific evidence-based information from me on any subject that you're looking for. So make sure that you use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.